Hello, welcome to my series of three tips in three minutes for first time hiking in various places around Britain. And um, these are my tips that, the first three things that spring to mind about a particular area if you were to ask me that you wanted to go hiking there for your first time. So today I'm going to be talking about the Yorkshire Dales. So beautiful, honestly. I feel like it gets, it doesn't get as an, enough attention as it deserves because everyone always just Im immediately goes to the Lake District and uh, people know about that, especially people who are new to Britain or new to hiking. They've probably heard of that. But I feel like you really must experience the Yorkshire Dales if you want to know the best of British hiking because it's such a beautiful place. It really, really is. Um, even that picture that I've chosen, I just love it. I love that limestone look. It's just absolutely gorgeous. So I'm going to start my clock. I'm going to give you these tips in three minutes. When it beeps, I have to stop. So my first tip is to visit Malham. So this is such a great location for your first time in the Yorkshire Dales. Um, it's beautiful for one thing. It's a lovely village. It's got, I think it's got two or three really nice pubs, which is always a brilliant bonus. And um, there's just so much to see and do there. It's gorgeous. So this is some of the scenery around Malham. Um, it's got Malham Cove, which is um, a really fantastic viewpoint of these cliffs that come up. And there's a limestone pavement on top, which has to be seen to be believed, really. It's just really interesting and unusual and then there is Gordale Scar around the corner which is a, a really deep valley with a waterfall at the end which you can actually scramble up as well and walk uh, around the top of and come back down. Um, the Pennine Way actually goes through Malham which is a great walk as well and you may want to walk along a little bit of it when you visit Malham. It's just such a fantastic place I would really recommend it for getting a feel for the area. Tip two is to peer into a shake hole. So the Yorkshire Dales are full of these holes everywhere and it's really popular for people who like caving, which I totally do not like caving. It's like my worst nightmare to think about doing something like that. Um, but yeah, you, you have to have a look at one. Some of them can be really, really deep and it's caused, I believe, by the, the limestone because it's such a limestone-y area. Um, you know, it causes these holes to appear and there's loads and loads of caves around the Yorkshire Dales that people can go into. So yeah, look out for a shake hole. Some of them, that, that is a really small one that I just happen to have a picture of. But some of them can be quite dramatic um, to look into. And actually there is a really big one near to a place which relates to my third tip, which is to climb the Yorkshire Three Peaks. So the Yorkshire Three Peaks are the three biggest hills in Yorkshire. So there's Wernside, Ingleborough and Penny Ghent. So Penny Ghent is the one in this picture. And there is a really big shake hole near there, um, which I've totally forgotten the name of, but it's something like Hole Pot, I think. Oh, oh, don't hate me if I got that wrong, but um, you can look it up. So you could combine the, the two things. So the Three Peaks is such a great iconic walk to do. You can actually walk it in... Uh, 12 hours you could do all of them which is a really major challenge because it's over 20 miles I think or you could just make a weekend out of it and just climb them all separately um, there's it's a really popular area for fell running around there it's really beautiful and you've got the Ribblehead viaduct as well which is an amazing viewpoint there where steam trains might go over and it's it's a really well photographed place it's um, a beauty spot so the place you need to base yourself is called Horton in Ribblesdale, where you uh, would stay if you were climbing the Three Peaks. And that's it, that's my three minutes, it goes so quickly! Um, I've actually got a weekend in Watch Weekends, which um, takes you to Mellum, and you can do the Three Peaks as well, and you can walk along a little bit of the Pennine Way. It was one of my favourite all-time top walking weekends. I love it so much, and I wish you would go! <laughs> I feel like it's my mission in life to get people to, to do this walk because it's so nice and you'll have such brilliant memories. Um, as you may know already, you can find out more information about it on the link. It's um, a package of guides, I've got videos as well and all sorts of extra information too. You don't need a car, um, it's all explained from London so it's all based around doing your weekends from London. Um, but yeah, I won't go into more detail now because my time is up. So thanks for listening and I, I hope you enjoyed it. I'll speak to you next time. Bye.